Hey guys here finally with the Chromecast. I just received it today from Amazon. I did order this on the same day it was announced but I guess I was too late uh, compared to others and it took me until now to get it. So let's go ahead and open it. Um, for those that don't know, watching this for the first time and don't know, this device is a little device that plugs into your HDMI port of any TV and it connects to Wi-Fi so your phone and your tablet or your computer has to be connected also on Wi-Fi the same network and what it does is that you can use your Chrome browser that's why it's called Chromecast and like you can see over here it also has the Chrome um, logo is that uh, anything that you have in your browser you can cast it to your TV um, it's not really streaming because you're not streaming from here to the TV it's actually it, um, you're actually sending a message from your device to this device so it could pick up that video and play it um, something like that um, but let's go ahead and open this up I will show later on during this video how to use it um, like you see over here in the back you got the Chrome you got the YouTube, you can watch any videos from uh, from your tablet or from your phone or from uh, your computer and stream it directly to your TV. Also, you got Netflix. Um, if you were one of the lucky ones, you got three months for free. And I actually got the three months for free. And of course, anything from the Google Play Store. Uh, the great thing also is that this is compatible with any device. Uh, so you could use a MacBook, you could use an iPhone, and I believe it will work. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. And the most amazing thing is the price. This is only $35. And, and believe me, this is just the beginning. There's going to be a lot of developers that are going to be doing a lot of cool things with this. Uh, like for example, Hulu. It's been known that they're working on for the app to work with this and HBO as well like you see over here you got a diagram how to use it it's very very easy setup let's go take this out okay like you see it has a little plastic here and this is the guy from the show this is the star of the video which is awesome feels very sturdy as well and and very very built very good built it feels very solid which is good doesn't feel cheap at all and it's amazing $35 I easily would have bought two but I couldn't at the moment so here it is this is the cable that connects from this needs to be power so it would plug right here and this would go to the USB of your TV if you don't have a TV with USB uh, no problems you can use this right here with the power cord let me go ahead over here uh, this is a, a, a cool HDMI um, extender that lets you let's say for example you have your your HDMI is in a bad position you can actually plug this right here let me see plug it right there and that way you connect this you connect this to the TV and you can have better access to your TV and the HDMI that's what's that for and here you would actually use this if you don't have a TV with USB you just use this right here and plug it right there that's it this is how you would do it alone and let me see there's some instruction manuals here very very simple instruction menu and that's it uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, how to start setting it up with the browser because on the browser you actually need to install um, a plugin or a little little tiny app that goes to your browser so let's go ahead and show you guys that now and this is the Chrome browser and I'm using it on a Mac but this actually works on Mac or PC and let's go to the Chrome store this is the Chrome web store I have it already saved over here, but I will go ahead and leave the link in the bottom in the description so you guys can see where it is. Uh, let's go ahead and try to connect here. 
Okay, so once you're here, if you don't see the Chromecast app right here, all the extension, um, all you got to do is search right here, Chromecast. And once you get do that, here you're going to see it, Google Cast. This is the Google Cast app that you need. And once you install it, you just click right here where it says Add to Chrome. But it's going to be over here. Now it's green because it's already installed. Like you see right here, it's already installed. Let's click on that. Once you have it installed, uh, right now it says no Cast devices. That's because it's not plugged into my TV. Uh, once it is, you're going to see it right here. Over here in options, you can also mess with the options. Let's go ahead and click there. And here you got a couple options. You got a couple options here. You can auto resize. It says if you check this, it will automatically resize the browser to fit the screen, the receiver screen when projected to a tab, projecting a tab. Over here you got the, the streaming quality or the cast quality. You got standard 480p. Uh, 720p which is the uh, default here or you got extreme 720p high bit bit rate um, if you have slow internet I recommend using the 480 it would run very very good especially if you have a screen that's not that big if your LCD is smaller like 42 inches or less it's still gonna look good here in 480p uh, 480p yeah uh, full screen mode uh, over here enabled prevents black bars on widescreen videos or you can go ahead and disable and it will show projected content exactly as it appears on this screen on your computer so you could either choose the any one it doesn't really matter which one you choose I'm gonna choose that one just to try it out and that's it so now we're ready to connect our device okay guys so now let's go ahead and plug this to the tv so you guys can see how easy it is the setup all you gotta do is uh find one of the HDA, hdmi input that are available uh for example my tv which is a sony tv actually has a usb right here right next to the hdmi so that way i am lucky there so let's go ahead and plug this on one of the hdmis I'm actually having a little bit trouble here because I'm doing it with one hand and recording with the other. Okay, so there it is. I plugged it in. Uh, like you see, it's already. I already have the USB cable, so let's plug in the cable. Okay, there it goes. So like you see, it has power because if it doesn't have power, it wouldn't like these up so that's a good sign if you plug it in and you see that nothing turns on that means that uh, some TVs don't actually um, send power through the USB so you might have to plug it into the wall but right now like you see right there everything's set up so now I could go ahead and tie this and make the cable a little bit shorter so that way it can't be seen from the front so we're done there okay so now that I just finished plugging the Chromecast to my TV I put it on the HDMI 2 so let's go ahead HDMI 2 and this is the screen you're gonna get set me up on your laptop or phone go to google.com Chromecast setup and like you see right there there's a code right there that says um, my setup name is Chromecast 7341 I, I I guess that's gonna be different for everybody so once I enter over here I'm in my computer now once I enter that let's go ahead and download the app that it tells me to download okay so now just keep in mind this is on the MacBook Pro let's go ahead and open this up um, on PC is basically the same step but over here is very very easy just like that and let's go ahead it now it says run the Chromecast app and the follow the prompts let's go ahead here and let's go ahead and look for Chromecast where is that right here open up let's go ahead and open let's go ahead and accept Chromecast I could close this if I want already um, like you see right here it says now let's get Chromecast 7341 connected to your wireless network let's go and hit continue and keep in mind your computer and your TV 
wherever you're doing this from has to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Oh, like you see here, I got a code right here, and on the TV, I got the same code. So let's go ahead back here until you see this on the screen. Bum, bum, change the input on here on your TV until you see this on your screen. Yes, it's already. That's my code. M3E6. That's my code. Okay, now I'm going to enter my password here of my network. And uh, let me see. Chromecast, blah, blah, blah. Let's go and hit it. Joining my network. And that's it. You're successfully, your Chromecast has been set up successfully. Start using Chromecast. And voila. And that's it. Now you get this nice video here set up your Chromecast. We'll with show you how the to instructions. Let's go ahead and stop that right here. And let's go to the TV and see how, it, how everything rolls out. Okay, so like you can see on the TV, you can also see my username for my internet. Like you see, my user ID is right there on the TV with the time right above it. And let's go ahead and try this. Let's click over here. This is the Chromecast button that we downloaded from the from the Chrome um, web store and cast to this device. And voila, look at that. Now I have the, I has mirrored this tab to my TV. Now I could go ahead and play this video right here, which is the introduction video. And Works with your laptop or Chrome, li as well as listen Android it Android on Android the TV, Android which iPhones is awesome. Casting, make sure Just like that. And let's go ahead and, and pause this video for Please a second. An uh, keep in mind, um, your laptop or your tablet will be your controller. There's no control for the Chromecast. Um, anything that you find in the browser, you can actually stream to the TV. So stop casting over here. Update for the PlayStation Vita. This update just came out today, so this and is right off the stove. Uh, right let's show you guys it. over here the what it in. Okay, and it should TV appear on the TV just TV like that. Now that is awesome. Like you can see, you can actually, uh, you can now watch any kind of video from your browser to your TV very very easily now let's see how it works with the smartphone okay so now let's show you guys how it works with the smartphone this is the HTC one and right now for example I could just go ahead tap here and open up um, the YouTube app right here and like you see it automatically detects that you have Chromecast in your house so if I tap right here it should send YouTube to my TV just like that uh, now I could go ahead and play any video here that I want let's go ahead here and choose one of my videos that way I don't want to violate no copyrights whatsoever so let's go ahead and play here one of my videos here let's see if there's any lag whatsoever and look at that just like that and I could get out from my app and that's it awesome and it looks perfectly uh, let's go ahead and tap here again let's tap here again let's pause it let's tap here and let's get out of there awesome that's with an Android phone also this is the iPad mini this is an iOS device an Apple device and from right here as well I could go ahead and choose one of my videos let's go ahead and choose one of my videos here uh, let's go ahead and choose this Zoe video and like you can see same as the phone you see the Chromecast button right here and it says Chromecast 7341 and there it is look at that my video is being streamed from an iPad to the Chromecast
okay now with the Netflix app like you see right here when you open it up you're gonna see right away this button right here that is the Chrome cast button that button is gonna be very very familiar because that's the same button you're gonna see on every app that's compatible with Chromecast um, like I said before Hulu is working on um, uh, for the Hulu app to work with Chromecast also HBO Go is also working on that too and so on so on you're gonna get we're gonna get lots of apps that's gonna have that button appearing up there uh, so right here like you see here when you tap right there you're gonna see play on this device or play on the Chromecast automatically over there now it says play on the TV so we chose to play on the TV let's see if I start something here let's go ahead and start that let's go ahead and start that and look at that so just like that the video has been streamed or casted to the TV using the Chromecast which is awesome that's it so let me go ahead and stop it right there and keep in mind this will now be your control and right here I could go ahead and switch from the TV to my phone or tablet and I could keep on watching it here that is awesome just like that um, another thing another benefit for having the cable connected to the wall instead to the USB of your TV is that if you have it connected to the wall uh, and your TV is off you can start browsing on your tablet on your computer or on your PC and when you send something to the Chromecast it will automatically turn on the TV um, there's also ways to um, um, broadcast your own files from your hard drive uh, but that's going to be I'm going to show you guys that on another video later on so guys that's it for this video I hope you guys like it and I gotta say for $35, nah, $35 this is a steal. So guys, I hope you guys like the video. Till next time.